A GTA mother is sending out a warning tonight about an identity fraud scam linked to the CERB. She says her Canada Revenue Agency account was hacked and used to apply for $4,000 in CERB payments. It was an unusual email that first set off red flags for Nicola Hudson. She says on Monday, the Canada Revenue Agency sent her a message saying she would no longer be receiving email notifications from them. She logged on to her CRA account to investigate. Go on there and I see that there was two CERB payments coming to me from like August 3rd. But Hudson says she never applied for the government benefit because she's been able to continue working. So then I went and I checked my personal information. My email address had been changed to my email at live.sa instead of .ca. Her banking information too had been changed to a different bank. So I automatically just went in and changed my banking info back because that freaked me out. I fixed up my email and then I started calling. After an hour, Hudson eventually got in touch with the right person at the CRA who locked down her account and blocked access to anyone trying to apply for new CERB payments. An investigation into what happened is currently underway. If that payment had gone through, you would have been on the hook for $4,000. Yeah, exactly. Like, and I, I only work weekends. <laughs> like, I work for grocery money. Her situation is not a unique one. From the beginning of March until the end of June, the Canadian Anti-Fraud Centre received 713 reports where people's personal information had been used to apply for CERB, and the reports keep coming. There's a variety of scenarios that we're seeing here. In some cases, people receiving notification by email that their banking information has changed on their My Service Canada account. In some cases, people receiving, you know, credit cards or debit cards in the mail uh, from banks that they haven't opened accounts with. So it really seems like a mass identity fraud uh, scheme that's happening right now. The reports come from all across Canada, but the majority are concentrated in two provinces, 384 in Quebec and 172 in Ontario. B.C. and Alberta follow. There are more than 50 where the province of origin is unknown. Thompson says at this point it's unknown exactly how scammers are hacking into these accounts. What we do know is that there, you know, there's been large phishing schemes tied to the CERB benefit as well, that there's been data breaches, so there's a variety of ways criminals are used to harvest personal and financial information. As for how to protect yourself, police say always make sure you're monitoring your personal financial information. Check your bank statements for any unusual activity and investigate any accounts or applications you were notified about but did not apply for. If you are a victim of this type of fraud, you should report it to your local police as well as the Canadian Anti-Fraud Centre. In Toronto, Erica Natividad, City News.